Hello guys and welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Review. So we have a watch today that's going to be launching on Kickstarter October 25th. And it's actually a super compressor styled watch which is really cool. And there's not a lot of super compressor watches out there in the smaller, you know, brand territory. And I can think of a couple others such as Dan Henry, but I believe those are sold out. And there's really not that many. Uh, they're actually waterproof and have an inner rotating bezel and are decently built. Uh, but Oceanica is launching this watch on Kickstarter October 25th for, I believe their early birds are $199. And those are very limited. There's going to be under 100 spots. So if those uh, sell out, the price jumps a little bit. So you can definitely sign up for their newsletter. I will drop a link in the description below. You can sign up. They'll tell you the exact time of the launch on October 25th. So you can secure uh, your spot there. Now today is going to be just a short glimpse at the watch. Uh, I'm going to do a full review later on when the campaign launches. Um, but let me show you what's on my wrist today. I actually brought out the other watch from this company. And um, it's actually on sale today for $175 for Columbus Day. Most of you don't know, today is actually Columbus Day. And it's a pretty big holiday. Not many people work on this holiday. And this watch is $175 marked down uh, just for the holiday. So you have 24 hours to grab one of these. This is a 200 meter dive watch, as you can see. Very nice sapphire crystal. NH35 automatic movement, some great bezel action as well. And this is what's on my wrist for the wristwatch check. Now let's get in a little closer and take a look at these two watches. So this is the Oceanica Seahorse. And as you can tell, it's a super compressor style dive watch. You can see Seahorse written in red right there, which I really like the black and the red. They seem to do that pretty good, uh, Oceanica. Now, uh, obviously, it's solid 316L stainless steel. It comes standard on this uh, solid 316L stainless steel bracelet, uh, which is pretty nice. It's uh, very nice. It's completely solid, has screw links, and it's polished on the sides and brushed with little polished sections uh, on the left and right side. Anyway, the watch comes in two iterations. I have both of them here. It is going to come in a blue on the left and a black on the right. Figure these are probably the most two popular colors, so it's probably a good idea to do that. Um, some basic uh, dimensions and stuff here. The box, it will come in the uh, handmade wood box right here with a pillow inside. It's a very cool box. I do get a lot of use out of that. Let's start off with some quick specifications. It's 42 millimeters in diameter, and uh, it really doesn't wear like a 42 millimeter watch. As you can see, the lugs come downwards and inwards, so it's very circular on top. It's very easy to read and legible especially since you have that inner rotating bezel there. Now the watch is 200 meters water resistant. It is 11.4 millimeters thick. So it's pretty thin for a dive watch with an automatic movement. It's really not that thick on the wrist. Um, in terms of finishing, it's mostly brushed. Besides, the lugs have some chamfered polished sides here, here, and on the bracelet to match. Other than that, it's completely, uh, completely brushed. So this blue dial features red accents on the Seahorse logo. All the applied markers are filled with C3 Super Luminova. You have Lume on the kind of wickered uh, seconds hand there, which is sweeping around. You have Lume on the rotating bezel. You have Lume on the actual logo, which is something new that they did to this watch, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, I've seen a lot of some other companies doing that recently. So this Oceanica logo right here is completely loomed. I think that's pretty cool. You also do have matching date wheels. So you have a blue date wheel and a black date wheel for the other version, uh, which is pretty cool. Of course, we do have a screw down crowns, one crown located at the four o'clock position. Your other crown is labeled with a red ring. This is the crown you can use to rotate the inner uh, dive bezel, which is really nice. So I think that's pretty cool there. And everything seems pretty good uh, in terms of quality. There's no wobble or nothing like that. And that nice uh, broad hour hand. Now taking a closer look at this bracelet, it's actually of pretty good quality. Uh, you know, if you're gonna spend $200 and get something like this with a nice bracelet, it has a flip open clasp. It has a milled clasp, it has solid end links. We have a screw down case back with the Oceanica logo, the shark logo, that's pretty cool. And it's a pretty decent bracelet. You do get, I believe, um, three micro adjustments here. It's very solid, very cool, easy to adjust, and it's also, my camera can focus here. It's very fluid. Um, if you can see here, it's pretty fluid. I mean, you know, it's a very good bracelet. It's very comfortable on the wrist. Doesn't really pull the hair there. And it came with a lot of extra length. So if you have like an eight inch wrist or higher, you should be good. Uh, but other than that, you have the NH35 automatic movement. If I didn't mention the lug to lug is 46 millimeters. So it really doesn't wear that big on the wrist. Uh, most of you guys know how to operate the NH35 movement, obviously. 
get a quick set date, we get hand winding, and we get hacking, very accurate movements. And I'll just get you a closer look. Also, I believe the crown is signed. If I get you a little closer here. As you can see, the crown is signed as well, uh, which is pretty cool that they did that. Very smooth brushing, no sharp edges, nothing like that. Um, also, we do get a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the underside, so you're not going to get any reflection on this watch, and you should be good to use uh, in the sun or highlight conditions. Let's take a quick look at the black one. So here is the black model. I think this is going to be the most popular one. I don't know, though. Um, I do like the black model. I do like the blue model. I'm not sure. I would probably go with the black. I really like the black and the red. It's the same exact watch, just the dial color is different. You have a black matching date wheel. And if I can move the hands out of the way, we can see the logo on this one. There we go. See that nice oceanic applied logo, applied markers. You have the same loomed uh, rotating inner bezel and such. So. Uh, two pretty cool watches from Oceanica. I think these are going to do pretty good on Kickstarter. I have a good feeling about these. And it's a very nice looking watch. It's obviously not a homage watch or a uh, something like that. It's definitely something quite different. Uh, let me throw it on my wrist, show you what it looks like on my 6.5 inch wrist. Now there she is on my 6.5 inch wrist. Like I mentioned, if you take a look, it fits just perfectly across my wrist. My wrist is really kind of small. It's probably like 6.4 inches. <laughs> but um, it looks really nice. Uh, I like how it looks. It fits nice, the bracelet is comfortable. Um, obviously these would look pretty cool on uh, you know NATO straps and all different canvas straps and such, but uh, the bracelet is just fine for me. I think it matches the case just fine. And there is the blue model on my 6.5 inch wrist, as you can see there. Um, yeah, same exact watch, just a different color dial. Very nice blue, nice palette of blue, very warming. And I think this one looks pretty good also. Now I will throw up a quick loom shot for you guys. As you can see, everything is loomed, including the outer ring, as well as the um, logo and the hands. Now one thing to mention, there will be some slight changes. These are one-to-one -one prototypes, basically. Um, the only changes that were mentioned to me was the clasp is going to be slimmed down a little bit. Um, as you can see, uh, just a tiny bit just to fit the bracelet a bit more. Uh, I don't think that's such a big thing. Um, that's one thing that's going to be changed. Also. On the outer ring, I believe there's going to be two more layers of C3 Super Luminova applied on the final models, as well as on the logo and all of the markers. So you're going to have double the amount, uh, two times the amount of loom as you see now on this watch and the final production models, as these are just prototypes. But nonetheless, I think this is a very good looking watch. Um, it's definitely one you should add to your collection. Definitely sign up for the newsletter down in the uh, description below. There's a link there. And I think you should snag one of these. I think it's a really cool watch. I haven't really seen something like this come out in a while besides the, I would say I remember the last compressor I saw on this channel was a Dan Henry watch. And um, this one feels a bit better in terms of quality. That's just my honest opinion there. But um, yeah, definitely a pretty rugged watch. 200 meters, can take it swimming. Uh, great everyday watch. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as usual. And you can always find me at www.watchaddictchannel.com, at Watch Addict Channel on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.